What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, I got a very special snippet from a very special interview with Evan Owens. This man is the director of merchandise for Love Renaissance. Love Renaissance is an Atlanta-based label of just killing it. Their impact with artists by the name of Black. I'm talking about Summer Walker, uh, Big Baby Drum, Boogie. They've been killing it, but we're really talking about Evan Owens' perspective on things from here, man, I, I, I think it's something worth checking out. So check out this snippet right here, and we'll we'll talk about it at the end. It's the mat work. Someone will perceive you, right? You're involved with a, a successful, uh, you know, entity like Love Renaissance. I mean, you have a a man, uh, you're managing somebody who's successful, and you're still pretty damn young, man. So, like, how do you go about learning stuff, and and what, where do you look for pieces of information to learn? always making yourself uncomfortable or not necessarily making yourself uncomfortable, but becoming yeah. comfortable being uncomfortable because that's where the growth and the learning actually happens. So when you don't know something, you know, you have to either a go figure it out or B just give up. You know what I'm saying? So when, <laughs> yeah. when, when those, you know, forks in the road come across, you look at it as an opportunity instead of just a challenge to just, you know, hide from, um, I always say that experience is the best teacher. However, the books are going to, you know, in, in, in somewhat way prepare you. So they'll give you information on how to move as a prerequisite, but you'll never know how to move until you get in that situation. Mm. Now, I hear a lot of people, especially in the music industry, I always talk about mentors. Like, were you somebody who had a, or do you have a, like, uh, like a formal mentor? Uh... The closest thing that I would say to a mentor would definitely be Tunde. Um, okay. You know, Tunde was my mentor when we were still throwing parties together. You know, he was he was the DJ. Um, Sean was the you know the head marketing guy. So the same type of situation you know that's that's still occurring today, where Sean comes up with the crazy ideas and Tunde figures out figures out the way how to like execute them or, or get to the bread or, or whatever have you. Um, <laughs> So just learning from, from both of those guys, as long as, um, you know, I've been throwing, I've been throwing parties or throwing events, I'd say since 2011, you know, that's, that's going on almost 10 years. So there's been a lot of, you know, field experience and, and, and how to, you know, just move. So, mm -hmm. um, and most of, most of the steps of the way, I've definitely, you know, watched Tune Day and, and how they've grown and, you know, just grown myself. So that's, Let's start. Let's go to that for a second, man. Doing those parties. Like, how did y'all's party start? Like, was, were you house parties? Did you, like, how did that it evolve? It was everything, bro. It was everything. everything. So, like, we, I, I can remember uh, just throwing crazy house parties with Ramel, like, down the street from the campus where we would get shut down, where it was looking like Project X with all the <laughs> hunch punch, you know what I'm saying? The stripper yeah. poles. Like, it was just coming up with just different ideas that would, you know, make, people want to come out, you know, mm -hmm. in, in different climates, they, they change. Like, you know, next year, people may not want to be all in the lounges in the club popping bottles, but what's going to be the dope wave? Is it, going to, is it going to be kickbacks again? You know, it's just really, mm -hmm. you know, doing your research on, on what's going on and what's happening in real time. So doing the parties really gave us a platform to test out music, see how uh, people received it and really, you know, create waves. Mm. So you, you would say that starting events, man, is really a good way to get into it. Like just from at least from the business side, if you have anything to do with sales and promotions, like because I think that's pr a pretty solid thing to do. I did this. I did that same thing. Not purposely. I don't even remember. Like I just fell into it. But like the experience, I'm always pulling back on that. For sure. Now, nah, if 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 you're doing events, you become a thought leader. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you have you have the power in theory to, you know, book the, the type of DJ that's going to be at the party, the type of host, you know, you are controlling mm -hmm. the imagery of what the flyer looks like and the type of people that are going to be coming out. You select in the venue, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, all of these things are, you know, in your control. So you are kind of curating the experiences and there's a markets, you know, for anything. So mm -hmm. you, you tailor what it is that you're trying to accomplish. And that's a, you know, 
a easier way to get next to the people that you're trying to, you know, get to. It's the network. All right. If you want to check out that full interview, you can check it out on brandmannetwork.com. But there's some, some things to really say about what Evan said, because one, we all know or we've all heard that idea of becoming comfortable being uncomfortable. But the truth is, it's the truth. And I love how he even talked about how them books can prepare you for certain things. But that experience is still the best teacher because that's what it really comes down to. I've experienced that again and again personally when you know I've known things. I, I'm, I've, I've been able to strategize things. But what I personally got the biggest gains from is just getting out there, making something happen. Events has been a great way, a great launching pad for me personally. I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't know what was happening. But in the same way I mentioned in that, right, that I was able to see 360 different perspectives, right? I, I've been, I managed artists in some capacity, just, just, through that process or helping some get on to something like that. But then I've gotten to see how artists handle themselves professionally. And I got to see how each of those things affects other people from the fans who come to those events, from the other professionals and how they see those artists and receive those artists because of how artists are acting or certain interactions that, that go to place. And then other like brand sponsors, all of that stuff. So one, if you haven't done events and you're on the business side of things and you are looking for a way in, that could be a strong way and a way, way to get not only experience and probably get some visibility for yourself, but really become somebody who has true like vision based on true experience, right? Your own things to pull from. It's going to show you things that, trust me, you can't just get from, from a book. Right. But even bigger than that is what Evan said, which I've never articulated personally. And that is the fact that being an event promoter, right, or having your own events, it really does center you and place you as a thought leader because you are guiding people. You're bringing people out to this curated thing. You're telling them what's hot or you're telling them that this is valuable enough to spend their time on. It's something that's great to get your practice going on when we're talking about the fact that marketing is what, what is it like the only the most important thing in music it seems these days i know that's a controversial topic i'm not even gonna get into that but i really appreciate evan's perspective and the dude is i mean he, he's extremely thoughtful he's one of the more thoughtful people i've met not only in music but just people in general for this age which i love about him and you can check out that full interview again at brandmannetwork.com and alert alert He's been so kind to drop a full merchandise course. Again, he is the director of Merch for Love Renaissance. And not only that, he's helped so many other people in the industry. He is truly a go-to guy. He knows it from ground up. So it's worth getting that perspective of his course. It's free for all people in Brand Man Network. So, hey, y'all go, go check that out, man. ASAP, ASAP. Get up on it. And other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.